Okay, I just turned level 10 and I got a very scary breathy sound effect and it says your enemies have ascended and they thirst for blood. But I don't see any enemies that have ascended thirsting for blood. Um, I was just down in there mining. It did make me shit my pants, though. That's scary. Is there anything on the map? Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I don't... I don't see anybody. <laughs> it, it was it was rather frightening, though, because totally unexpected. Um, So, yeah, anyway, welcome, everybody, back to Rebirth. I'm the Bearded OG, and uh, this is just going to be kind of a, an ad-lib start, I guess, to the episode. Um, I have uh, mined up 2,000 coal uh, over my other coal mine, and this is my nitrate mine. Uh, this is where I'm at here in relation to our our house, which is over here. And uh, we, oh, we can remove that. Um, I just realized um, that I, there's also a little bit of coal uh, here in the nitrate mine too, which is kind of nice. So um, the other thing that, let's see, do I have a couple things to update you on? I think so. Um, it's actually the next day in real life for me. I just got back from the office. And, um, so I made, I was able to make an, a green iron fire axe. So apparently the, you know, the, the books that we read and, or the advancements in, well, okay. Actually, no, I think we have to look over here. Right. So I, I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent positive, but it seems to me like maybe the way this works is that if you get, over 50 percent then then you then you can get to the next level maybe because i'm only at 58.02 percent but obviously it let me make the the green axe I, I didn't even realize that until i just happened to look at him going oh shit i can make a a green level axe so i did that uh it's not really too expensive those are all the parts and then um i think that's really it to to update you on at this point one thing i wanted to look at too if we go back to here and I was asking, I think it was in the last episode after we killed those bandits at the drop site that it said that I got book fragments. Well, I see two of two book fragments here. And I think I can craft this if I just get paper, maybe. Um, let's look at this. Because I do understand that... Um, Yeah, and so it looks like, yeah, it just needs paper. Okay, so here's the thing about the thug. I, I, I am not a fan of the club in this, in Seven Days to Die in general. I just almost never use it, even in vanilla. Um, And I'm not saying it's a bad weapon. It's just not my shtick, you know. I get it, shtick. <laughs> See what I did there? Um, But I love the shotgun. And it is, it, it's probably my favorite firearm in the game. So, I mean, we could, we could craft this and... Maybe think about also working on thuggery stuff at some point. It's probably too early for me to be doing that right now, but uh, at least it's an option. And if anybody, any of you did point this out to me in the in the comments from yesterday's episode, I haven't seen it yet because I uh, I do pre-record these and I'm usually a few episodes ahead of of the ones you know that are that are released to the public. And you know, shameless plug time by the way, if you are interested. In uh, getting early access to my videos, I do have a membership program um, on the YouTube channel. Just hit the join button and it'll give you all the information. And if you join the mid or higher tier, then the one of the main perks of that is early access to my videos. And I, again, I'm usually a few videos ahead, not all the time, but usually, you know, from what's being released. So anyway, yeah, I know, shameless plug, but every once in a while, you know, got to do that. So anyway, 
um, back to this. So what I'm, what my plan is here is, uh, I'm going to also mine up a, a 2000 nitrate so we can just make a metric crap ton of gunpowder. And I did a whole mess of salvaging too, uh, last night in game and, uh, and nothing, nothing spectacular happened. So I didn't record anything, but, um, uh, so, so I got a whole bunch of mechanical parts because in, at the end of the last episode, I was kind of lamenting that I couldn't make pipe bombs. And then I remembered, wait a minute, we learned the grenade. We found the grenade book. So I can actually make grenades, which obviously are going to be better than pipe bombs. Um, and all of this stuff is relatively easy for us to come by, you know, through salvaging and whatnot. So I'm, I, I'm going to make a, a pile of grenades and I've already made, uh, 21 Molotovs and we'll make more. Uh, of those two as we get opportunity. And then the final thing that you'll all be happy to know that I have made, I finally remembered to do it. And that is the zombie pickup thingy here. Um, so that is, let's see if we go modify. Yeah. The auto loot mod. So now we don't have to manually uh, loot these guys anymore. Uh, what does this say by the way? Uh, so it, it's, it also scraps their clothing. Oh, that's useful. Genetic fragments along with a few other items will go into your dog's inventory. Well, unfortunately, I don't think I can get a dog um, in the purge, which kind of sucks, but, you know, it is what it is. Ammunition can you, uh, you can use will stay in your inventory, and everything else will go into your followers, starting with your drone. Okay, so, yeah, um, unfortunately, uh, well, I don't know. Can I? Maybe I can get a dog. I'm not sure how that works, but we'll see. I, I know I've got a make body bags out of explosive uh, explosive resistant zombies and give it to the farmer guy. And maybe maybe the dog will be available to me. You guys can let me know in the comments if that is the case. But I, I know that you can't hire NPCs in the purge uh, based upon... Oh, look at that. We just got quality three pickaxe. Very nice. So, yeah. Um, that, I think those are the main things I wanted to get you guys updated on. Can I make... Uh, okay, I can still only do the orange ratchet, uh, which I haven't actually made yet. I'm thinking about maybe waiting uh, if we do an S8. Yeah, well, we got to, if, if you look in the lower left-hand corner of my screen, you can see the picture of the ratchet, and it and it shows my progress towards the next level. We've got a, a little ways to go. These are rel relatively expensive, but I don't know. I, I might end up making one anyways, because if we get a little bit nicer tool, it just means we advance even a little more quickly. So, but that's not a super high priority right now. All right. So anyways, guys, uh, I'm going to keep mine in here until I get 2000 nitrate. And then I'm going to go back and make all that gunpowder, make some grenades. And then, um, oh, there is one other thing I wanted to tell you. You guys told me in the comments and God only knows why this didn't occur to me, but it's me. <laughs> um, you said that I can find propane tanks in gas grills. Well, of course, I got one of those damn things sitting out on my deck in my house here in real life. So what, I don't know why that never occurred to me. So um, that is actually what we're going to do first uh, is we're going to go see if we can find a gas grill because then we can get shredding going. I, I'm, I'm nervous because I haven't seen a horde in a little while. Uh, so I want to really be ready to get the fuck out of here if, if one of them shows up. Oh, yeah, that was the other thing I wanted to tell you. I didn't record this because it kind of just happened too fast. I got... Uh, I got... Um, pinned down in the base uh, from a horde attack, uh, you know, and I haven't gotten around yet to fix them, uh, get in the back door going, which I really need to do. So I ended up having to jump off the roof again and I broke my leg and it's, uh, you know, it's, it's almost done healing and they did minimal damage to the outside, but I detected them soon enough, you know, and got out of there quickly enough to where they didn't do major damage. And I couldn't even hear them because I'm so high up, but the way I knew that they were there is uh, the screen, you know, the, the game started stuttering. I'm going, oh, shit, there must be a horde down there. And sure enough, there was. So, all right. Anyway, um, I will bring you back here after uh, I get all this mined up and we are ready to go out, find ourselves a propane tank and do some more purges. All right, guys, we are ready to go out and find ourselves a propane tank. Uh, to that end, I'm, I brought along the very small amount of scrap brass that I have. Um, I don't know if uh, these special radiators will give us brass, so I'm bringing them along to see if it does. Uh, also, another thing you guys told me in the comments really cool that I just didn't notice because vanilla mode, right, is that 
regular bandages actually give you a little bit of health. Um, so yeah, that's really cool. So if you just need to kind of top off a little bit, uh, or if you completely out of like aloe cream or whatever, you know, there you go. Okay, so we need to find a gas grill. That's and that's most likely going to be found at a residential house uh, or a hardware store. So that's what we're looking for first and foremost. So we do have um, this farm here. Is this does this one spawn pigs? I don't know. Let's see. This is a, a tier three. Um, I'm still. Oh, nice. Oh, by the way, uh, I was talking to Ramsey on uh, the Discord, and he he said it's it's well worth it to make a rad atui with these vitamins, um, because it gives you like five rations. He said, um, so and now that we have four vitamins, we will we'll make that when we get get back to the base or when I remember to do it and I don't know if I want to mess around here too much yeah I don't see a gas grill anyways okay yeah let's just move on now I also had a couple of comments too that you can get brass from the dollhouse I don't know what the dollhouse is I'm assuming that's probably a POI, but I, I haven't come across it, or if I did, I didn't notice that that's what it was. Um, this house could have a grill. I'm not seeing one. Oh wow, look at that, that's a black chicken. I didn't realize the chickens had, uh, you know, that had different colors and stuff. That's really cool. While we're here, let's hit these mailboxes. Is that the Joel? Yeah, that's the Joel Hunick house. Hunick residence. Okay, that's a tier two. Um, And there's usually... Zeke's in this garage. I'm just trying to see if there's a grill in there. You wouldn't normally find a grill in the garage, but yeah, there's a Sambo in there. They, there is a deck back here. Oh, yeah, there is a grill up there. Okay. Let's make sure we're loaded. Well, hell, we might as well do this place. We can handle it here, too. Famous fucking last words. Watch. <laughs> Look at that. First one we checked. Maybe they're in all of them. I don't know. That's amazing. Thank you to all of you who left me the comments about that. I It's like one of those things, you know. It's like that should have been damned obvious to me from the get-go, but it wasn't. Is this door open? That door does. Oh, good. Radiator. Zombs? What's this? Oh, that's Oh, that's just a normal workbench. For some reason it looked different to me for some for some reason. <laughs> Can't explain it. Is there something up there? Well, I can't tell that way, so let's just do this. Make sure our head's not going to hit the thing. There is a bag up here. With two aloe creams. Very nice. And oh wow, look at that. There's brass that we don't even need to smelt. So yeah, I, I, I'm I'm assuming that there is a POI called the dollhouse. That's probably what you guys are talking about. Oh, can I get brass from taking apart air conditioners like you can in vanilla? If there's one thing I've learned so far about Rebirth of the Purge is you cannot assume that things work the way vanilla works. 
but let's see if we get a, a radiator from this. Oh, we do. Nice. Okay. And we also got a small motor too, which we need for like cement mixtures and a couple other things. So that's good. And you guys also told me the little ball valves that are on the pipes. Um, you know, like you heard that flame trap when you turn that off, that those give brass too, which makes sense because that's what generally what they're made out of in real life. If they're not made out of PVC, that is. Let's siphon that. Uh, we already checked that one. Let's get this a little closer too, in case we have to make a quick exit. Let's open this up. What are those? Melee expertise. Okay, good. Oh, yeah, we don't need that either. Okay. So there's a Zom right on the other side of that car. In fact, there's t probably two. Um, Depending upon who they are and how fast they are, we might be able to melee them. You're moving at a pretty good clip there. Shit. How tough are you, lady? That guy's kind of scary looking. He must be armored. Oh, wait. I don't have to do that, right? Did it. Oh, wait. Doesn't the auto looter thingy handle that? Maybe I, maybe I messed it up because I looked in his inventory. I can't tell. It must have because I don't see that lady's body here. I just don't know what it gave me because I wasn't paying super close attention. All right. Yeah, it's good to good to check these these cardboard boxes for brass scraps. Uh, vehicle repair kit. That's the first one of those I've seen. Nice. Is that actually works? We're not playing vanilla, OG. Um, can I pick it up, take it back, and repair it like some of the other ones? Probably. Yeah, nice. Okay. We could definitely put that to use later on. Skazuntite. <laughs> Maybe we could um put some Let's take these apart for the mechanical parts. Maybe we could put some electric fences. And I hear zombies out here. If I if you hear zombies outside, it's a horde in the purge anyway. Um or maybe we could put some electric fences down along the base. They wouldn't last very long, but they would, you know, they'd give us a little bit of a, a, a of time to, you know, do something, I suppose. All right. Okay, let's see if this wall valve here, um, yeah, so let's see, shift eight gives us brass. 7,000 hit points? Oh my god. Really? Um, I don't care if that does give me brass. <laughs> that's gonna wait. I'm not gonna rent something that's 7,000 hit points. Fuck that. Nice. I wonder if the those other the ball valves, you know, the the ones with the lever are 7000 hit points. I mean I guess it depends upon how much brass it gives us. Hmm, I don't know. That seems like an extraordinarily large amount of hit points for something like that. There's a zombie right there.
I think that's the first time I've seen him. All right, I know we get, um, I think we can get iron ingots from these and electrical parts, maybe. Well, we got electrical and mechanical parts. That should give us electrical. You'd think that ceiling lamp would give us brass, you know? Oh, uh, this is just going to give electrical. Okay. Oh, you guys aren't going to come through this door? All right. Oh, this guy in the green is pretty damn fast. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's looting. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And if we, you know, if we can be ultra conservative with our ammo, we'll, we'll almost. Uh, yeah, that's that's the recipe thingy. Uh, we'll almost be able to get, well, probably not all of our ammo back, but a good portion of it. So let's do that. That's amazing. Okay, so this was just a storage area underneath the living room. I do want leather, so let's grab this. Can I pick this up? I can, um, but I don't really want to right now. This should give us cloth. and I'm very, very low on cloth right now because of all the Molotovs I made. I mean, I didn't really have a whole lot of cloth to begin with, but uh, right now we need some more. Okay. That's going to go upstairs. This is just a utility room. All right, we'll take that. I'm keeping sand so I can make jars for Molotovs. Oh, those aren't lootable? Guess not. I'm getting leather out of them. All right, I know we're going to get an ambush up here. There's going to be some zombies laying on the living room floor. Oh, shit. That's that same lady again. You can open doors? What the actual... F? Can, she can really open doors? Did she... Did she not open that door, you guys? I could have sworn she opened the door. What, what the hell are... What are they doing now, though? Okay, let's reload while we have a tiny moment of reprieve here. Oh, God. Okay, can you open that door? Let me see. She can! Oh, shit! <laughs> She's a zombie doctor. Oh, no, I don't need to loot her. Okay, note to self. Zombie doctors open doors. Oh, I also found out that those little purple ringy thingies in one or two episodes back. What is wrong with you, Egger? Got brain worms? Um Well there was a there was a healer and and so those ring thingies were healing those zombos. Egger, can you open doors? Can you catch doors on fire? Okay, let's auto loot. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Nice. Okay, yeah, I wasn't expecting that. 
Zombies that open doors. What is the world coming to? All right, let's get the giblets off of him. Um, and again, I want to get the cloth from these couches. Let's eat this and drink this. Um, I'm, I haven't been carrying my, my toolbox with me. Is that something I can just make? Yeah, I just got to get that stuff. Uh, we have everything except for the rope. Uh, I was going to make some re some actual first aid bandages since we found that alacrim. But we'll just keep going for the moment. Okay, right. We got to go up there. Um, I don't remember if there was anything out here or not. And we do get doorknobs from breaking doors too, which is also was also pointed out to me in the comments. Um, I guess we'll we'll take that. It's not really worth a whole lot. Okay, before we go upstairs though. I know that room back there is the the final room. Okay. Are one of you going to open the door? Well, you know, you're just going to go out the open door. That was smart. Okay, what the hell are you doing? Oh shit! You're scary! Zombie old crone. God, that's creepy. <laughs> okay. I think I think we killed one of those in the the house that had the um uh, you know the the little underground area with the water, but I killed her from up above, so I didn't really get a look at her face. All right. Yeah, let's let's actually start taking doors out for sure. What about this door? I don't think that gave me one. I think, yeah, I think that's the final room there. Okay, I don't see any brass fixtures in here. This is probably um, just going to give us electrical parts and maybe some iron scrap. Yeah. What's that? Vinegar. All right. What is that used for? Potassium bicarbonate. Right. Okay. Are you, do you give brass? Nope. Okay. And I'm pretty sure you don't. We'll rent you anyway. Yeah. No moss on that. All right, let's go upstairs. Oh, shit. See if this guy opens doors. Uh, nope. He just bangs on doors. Okay, we got him. Oh, that auto loot is amazing. Let's grab this door too. Alright, I kind of hate to do it, but our health is pretty low. We better 
we better take that. Um, we can make those too. Well, I mean, we know the recipe for them, I should say. Whether or not we can actually make them is a a different situation. Let's see if we can drop a few more things off in the mini bike here. You know, another nice thing about doing the purge is that um, we don't have to worry about leaving the POI and failing the quest. So I can come back. We can always come back and finish it later if we have to. Okay, let's just take that out and get the the doorknob. So our health is back to full now. Well, there you are. Okay. Oh shit, there's three more. Damn it. Yeah, those are the Oh, those are the final three in the final room. We've managed to wake them up. Okay. Right. Alright, stick your head out there again, bud. Oh shit. Uh get the gun out. I hit the wrong key. I can't okay. Zombie constable. Okay. So we still have 196 rounds. And that's uh that's not what we started with, but it's not bad because we got some of it back. Uh, and seven more right there. Come on, big first aid. <laughs> Ask and ye shall receive sometimes. All right. Let's open this. Ravioli and some meat. This will probably be cobblestone and boards. <laughs> well, okay. Um... Almost all of, if not, if not all these uh, building blocks I have, I've looted. What's that? Oh, that's light armor, but it's still po four points better than what we're wearing, though. And we, oh, nice. We got another hunter mod, too. I'd almost prefer, oh, we got three slots. That's even better. There we go. Okay. So we just, it's 28.7 and now it's 30.8. So we basically... Gave it two more points of damage. So it's saying that this armor is better than what we're wearing. Where what are we wearing? The lumberjack outfit? So that gives 9.1 and that gives 13.1. Hell yeah. It's a little more damage than the other one, but that's okay. So we got ourselves a little bit of an armor upgrade. That's cool looking. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Okay, let's put this down here. And, um, bup, 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 bup. I guess we could put the vitamins and the water down there just to, you know, free up some, some more space. There's another music cassette. And, um, I don't think I'm going to pick any of that stuff up. And we're done. Okay. Let's go to Trader Joel. Uh, sorry, not Trader Joel. Trader, uh, Wrecked. And get, um, this propane tank inside the thing and then scrap some brass. Oh, Ramsey told me. But if you get better barter one, then then you can honk the horn and have the gate open. So that's how that works. Uh, let's do an ammo exchange. Okay, nine more, seven, six, twos. That's good. All right. 
Let's grab the propane tank and all of the brass items. There we go. All right, so we can do brass doorknobs. Is it running? Oh, yeah, okay. It doesn't make any noise. Uh, brass trophy. And brass radiators. That's 1,200. That's nice. Uh, but apparently we cannot scrap this. So the things we can scrap are doorknobs. Uh, oh, desk lamps. Oh, okay. Brass dome light. Oh, shit. I was... Didn't I... I think I wrenched that. Well, maybe it wasn't a brass. It must have been an iron. So we should be able to just, I think, pick those up. Brass glass light, brass faucets, candlestick, trophies. Uh, oh, oh, trophy offset. All oh, right, so the whole radiator. But I, I'm going to... Well, I don't know if we can pick those up or if we wrench them, but we'll find out when we come across another one. I, I forgot about those. And then, of course, yeah, those radiators. And then we can make... Oh, so we can make cobblestone without clay. How interesting. By just doing large rocks. Small stone can be sand. You know what? Why don't we... Wait, do I have... Oh, no, I must have put that stuff away. Okay. I'm just looking to see what else I have in there. Fishing weights, trophies, batteries, limestone fragments, small stone, and wood logs into wood. Okay, good. Yeah, that that's pretty good, and it doesn't take really take actually all that long to do. Okay, so that gives us 2,400 brass. That should give us a decent amount of casings, I would think. Let's go home and make some. We really need to be um, on our guard, though, because I have not seen a horde yet all day. I'm expecting one at any moment. Hey, jackass, can I lighten that back? What the hell do you want this time? Trying to see if there's anything in here I want to sell to him. Uh, yeah, we want to sell this. Um, I guess we could sell these te these things too. Oh, you know what? All, All those right. now that we're done doing business, get out of my store. All those other wrenches that I put in the other wrecked scrapper. Um, it's not going to do anything. All right, I want to try something. One of you asked me in the comments if this would work, and I said I didn't th think so. I'm very nervous right now because that horse will probably show up any minute. But <clears throat> can we reach all the way to the top with this? No, we can't. Hmm. What about right here? Well, that's odd, and the reason why I think that's odd is because I I started doing some repairing down here last night, and it pulled the steel, which I have all the way up there. Um, and I still have more work to do, but I got to go, you know, um, wrench some street lamps to get more steel. So that's odd. I, I don't know why it would pull. You know, pull the steel to repair, but it won't let me put stuff back up there. So I'm not really sure. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Let's take this and this up there. I'm, I don't want to load up too much, though. So we'll just have to come back for the second load. It probably would behoove me to put some crates down here just for, as drop crates. And then I can move the stuff up later. You know what else we could do? We could... Oh. I just thought of something. We could, we could maybe make like a little elevator of crates. That's an idea. 
So the idea being, you know, we put like one crate here and then we go up. We'd have to make a, like a little platform up a little ways, put another crate. And then we can just kind of pull everything up. We should try that. That would be kind of cool. We should try that. Okay, so. Damn. I don't want a word to show up, but we can't stand here forever. So let's hope they don't. Because if they do, then I'm going to have to bail off the side and break my fucking leg again. <laughs> I really need to... I really need to do something about that. <clears throat> okay. So instead of pissing and moaning about it, as as soon as we're done with this episode, I'm going to I'm gonna make a back door out of this place because we just got to. I can't keep falling and busting my leg. It hurts for one thing. All right. Bullet casings. 400. <coughs> Excuse me. God, what was that? <coughs> Something in my throat. 485. That's not bad. Okay. That's really going to allow us to start using our M60 now. Um, you know, as long as we just keep, uh, you know, keep on top of getting stuff, you know, brass to, to smelt. You know, we, we got this, you guys. We absolutely got this. Um, let's make a ratatouille. Oh, I see what he... Okay, he said it makes five rations. I didn't quite understand what he meant, but he means it makes five bowls of ratatouille. Now, that's not a bad deal, man, actually. That is not a bad deal at all. One vitamin for five things of, well, for for where we're uh, currently at, pretty high level food. That is well worth doing. Um, and we still have three more vitamins right here too. Okay, cool. All right, let's put you guys in here. Um, yeah, this is broadcasting so we can put those in there and we should be able to make a couple of first aid bandages with that let's do that uh, this is a new item so that will just store uh, can I sell those oh shit I should be selling those we only need one right unless I wanted to make more table saws which I don't think I would want to do that All right, let's put you in here We got seven, uh, 1,790 more gunpowder. So I think I'm just going to sit on that. Um, let's just put the, the cooking pot in here in case we want to get like another stove going at some point. <clears throat> the one thing I've noticed, though, that the mod has, which is really actually quite appreciated, is, you know, crafting stations are just faster than they are in vanilla. And I get it, you know, it's like, who wants to sit there and wait for 10 minutes to craft a, a Kim bench? Or no, I, actually, I think a Kim bench is like 15 minutes in vanilla. Like, really? <laughs> I don't I don't classify that as fun, so I appreciate that uh, we can craft more quickly in this in the mod here. Yeah, we might as well sell these saw blades. I don't see why not. Uh, are they used for anything else? Yeah, I think we will. We'll sell them, and then uh, murky water should go back up here. Yeah, we're hungry, but we're going to have some ratatouille here in a second, so just chillax, dude. We'll stick that up there. Uh, the extra brass... Um, well, I might actually put another storage thingy up here, but for now I'm just going to stick it in there. Oh, that's so nice. Do I have any... Yeah, we have 36 bullets. Uh, but lead, lead's easy, right? Uh, I can mine that. Lead's super easy. Oh, I was looking at dyes, too. Uh, oh, I was going to say, what am I missing? And I like the way he's done this because basically you make blue, red, or yellow from blueberries, chrysanthemum, 
or goldenrod, and then the rest of them you just make from combinations of blue, red, and yellow. Like black is, well, all of them. Um, pink is red and boiled water. But yeah, that, that makes perfect sense. I think it's awesome. All right, we'll just put this up in here. And... <clears throat> Right, okay. Let's go. Let's go get some ratatouille. Alright. Eight food. Oh, it only gives eight food? Whoa, but it gives a lot of health though, so this is almost more like a a medical thing than a food thing. Okay. So we really probably should save that more for health. Okay, well, let's eat this then. And I have, um, well, can I make some more Purina tamale stuff? Should be able to. At least one more. And I, I know, I don't need to take those out of there. It's just a habit. Right, okay. So we'll make a, a Purina tamale. I'm just going to hang on to this and use it as an actual healing item. Let's put our ammo over there. Yeah, we need to we need to drink this too. Okay, so that should get us in reasonably good shape for um food and water at the moment. All right, let's go back down. I'm not, I'm not really going to do a whole lot here until the next horde comes. I'm kind of hoping they'll come before I let you guys go because I want to try the Molotovs and the grenades on them. Of course, right now it might be kind of hard for you to see. All right. We can run back over to Wrecked and sell that stuff. Let's sell for, uh, uh, well, 33 a pop, yeah. I noticed the engine parts, uh, the specialty engine parts, they don't seem to sell for a whole hell of a lot. Okay, well, let's let's go back up. Jeez, I hope they don't show up. But yeah, we should try, for the base, we should try the elevator idea. And more importantly, I need to get my back door going. Okay, let's just do this and I I got shit all over I am co completely unorganized right now this is uh oh that's supposed to not be broadcasting I don't know why it is I must have accidentally hit it or something okay let's go back down so I wonder um how far up how high up can we go and land on hay bales without getting injured. That is something I actually do not know, which is maybe a little surprising considering I have over 5,000 hours in this game. Well, in seven days to die in general. We could try a little test. Oh, here they come. All right. Man, I wish it wasn't dark out, though. Uh, I th think they're coming. I heard something banging. Maybe it was a, a critter. These dark nights are just creepy as hell, man. <laughs> I love it, though. I absolutely love it. It's super immersive. Yeah, maybe... Maybe it was an animal that I heard. I heard something banging on wood, and it wasn't me. 
That happens in the morning. Oh, shit. Did I say that? <laughs> oh, okay. That's that's who I heard. Mr. Barr. Okay. That's who we heard. Okay. Um, I mean, we don't really need to kill him right now. So I guess what we could do is maybe try another purge. What time is it? Yeah, we're we're kind of getting to the end of the episode. This is oh, this is only a a one. All right, let's let's do this purge. Point that the other way so we can get the hell out of here quickly if we need to. And we have an ATM machine. I can take that apart for uh, steel. I'm just, like I said, I'm really kind of on edge right now. Alright, let's, let's take these apart for steel. Kind of a bummer they don't work. Can I... Wait a minute. Can I pick this up and have it actually be a working... Oh, I didn't even... That didn't even occur to me. Okay, let's try this one. The question is, though, does it work? Or is it just a container? It's just a container. Okay. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> That would have been awesome. Have our own uh, vending machine. In my vanilla series, uh, I took over the uh, shit. What's it called? The the big mansion. Um, Jeff Jeffalon Zuckergate. Yeah, <laughs> I had to think about that name for a second. It's like a, it's like a mashup of uh, Zuckerberg, Bill Gates. Elon Musk and uh, Jeff Bezos, I think. Jeff, Jeff Elon Zuckerberg. You know, the big, huge mansion uh, in the vanilla game, right? I actually took that over, and that's my base. And it has a working vending machine in it, so it's really handy to have that right there. All right. Uh, that's a repairable... Ooh, that's a... That's an Evo. Oh, shit! I hit the wrong button and got caught in the console menu for a second. Oh, don't loot him. I don't have to loot him. Habits. Okay, we got another Zeke up and about. Oh, uh, it's just you? Well, let's siphon this. Even this isn't as fast as the cop car, though. Very cool looking, though. Okay. Um, we can bust open that. Oh, God! I did it again! <laughs> Hit the wrong button! Guys, you're gonna give me a fucking cardiac arrest! Both those guys are fast. Okay. We need to find a bandolier mod. It takes forever to reload this thing. Um, all right. Anyway. <laughs> Let's open this. Uh, it says there's five left, estimated. A bunch of corn over there we can pick later. Got a armored transport thingy here. Six shotgun shells. That will sell. 
Not that we'll get a whole lot for it, but... Uh... Can we get brass from this? Yes! Nice! Okay. Alright, where's the rest of these guys at? On the roof? Is there an office? Is this part of the POI here? No, it's not. It's a lot of cars over there, though. Oh, here we go. got just we got business zombie and uh, I can't tell but they're fast enough holy shit okay we got we got incoming or outcoming as the case may be yeah no I'm not meleeing you you're too much of a pain in the ass to melee Oh, God, I love that auto loot. You guys are going to get sick of hearing me say that, aren't you? Okay, there's the, the loot in a weapons bag. Oh, okay. Up there. Okay, there's some of those ball valves. Let's... Let's see if we can get, um, do we want two of these? I suppose we could get two of them. How much are those worth? No sell price. Okay. Oh, nice. That'll come in handy because we uh, need to repair our gloves. In fact, let's just do that right now and we'll do the boots. Might as well. I think we can actually make better armor now than what we currently have. Uh, oh, maybe not. It's still, it's still just the, the level one stuff. Okay. Ah, oh, this is much better. No 7,000 hit points there. And that gives you scrap brass straight up. Even better. Don't even have to take down to the shredder. Very good. All right, how much you want to bet that uh, it's vultures that we've got to deal with up here? All right, there's another air conditioner. Yeah, we got a buzzard there. He's tough. All right. Nice. We did it. Okay, the, those are, will not auto loot or auto harvest, I should say. That would be kind of weird anyway. Or ammunition. Okay. That can't can't be picked up. Get a little heavy here. Uh interact with solar thingy. Repairable solar bank. Not worth anything, but good to have.
That's just a metal thing. All right. Very good. So we did another purge. Guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and let you go here. I'm going to go back to the base and get working on a back door. I think. Okay. Can I pick this up? I can. So let's pick that up because we can shred that. Um, I just, you know, uh, well, you know what I might actually do? I might, I might just do some salvaging and go after steel in particular so I can get the street lights and wait for the, you know, the next horde to show up. And then once they do, oh, I got to break this open too. Uh, once they do, you know, then I'll start working on the base. This is probably just going to give electricals. Yeah. Not that that's a bad thing. Electricals are a fairly valuable thing to sell. And if the horde shows up before I start the next episode, I will record it and then show that to you at the start of the next episode. So I think that's what we're going to do. And when those guys do show up, we've got nades and molotovs for them. So with that being said, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch y'all in the next episode. Bye-bye.